is a ghost? Well, your traditional explanation, uh, it's not a spirit in the machine. What happens is OTDRs work on reflections and the largest reflections we get are from connectors. A UPC connector, typically like this we, this one we have here, this machine polished UPC, will have an industry standard, or at least an FIS standard of negative uh, 55 or better back reflections. Okay, that's when the UPC is mated to another one. So they're most effective when they're mated together. When there's one open at the very end, your reflections will typically go from 50, 50s, 55-ish, up to around 14 to 18. So that's a negative number, so that's much greater reflections. Now, what that can do, so you can see, yeah, okay, the spike on my OTDR scan is high. What that can do, and this customer that I just got off the phone with had the same problem, is because this is such a large reflection, when it gets to the very end of this cable, so I have a 100 meter cable here that's ghosting, and you'll see this, when that cable, when that, I'm sorry, when that light pulse gets to the end of that cable, it's gonna hit that connector, and it's gonna get a really big reflection, so it's creating like a tsunami headed to the coastline. So this is a massive amount of power. Now, it's heading back, this is only like a 100 meter cable. It's going to attenuate on the way back, but it's still coming in really hot. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna hit the connector on the OTDR, and connectors are reflective, it's gonna make a second trip down and back. So ghosting is from that double reflection. What does it look like on the scan? A 100 meter cable will look like it's 200 meters. A four mile cable will look like it's eight. It's a double scan. And a lot of times too, any events within that cable that you're testing will duplicate at a double length also. Now you could do a couple things. You can just accept it and just test to the end of where the ghost is. I would prefer to get rid of the ghosting. Now you don't have to explain it to your customer if you're handing them a report, you know, ignore that extra fiber, it's not really there. So what we have is we have this device, uh, we call it a terminating connector, sometimes we refer to it as a black hole connector. This is like your Ghostbuster, this is gonna eliminate any of the, hopefully, and we'll see if it does it here, it's gonna eliminate any of the ghosting or that extra double reflection because it's gonna mute down that end tsunami to make it just a ripple at this point. So what I have here is a cable with a APC to go into my OTDR and a UPC on the end. And this is the guy that's gonna make the ghost happen. Uh, and I've got my uh, Expo OTDR. I think this is the 720. And I've got it all set up and turned on. What I'm gonna do is just plug her in and I'll give you a demonstration. I'll show you the ghost and how we can eliminate that ghost. So. Uh, we're gonna switch over the camera to a view of the of the OTDR, and I'll continue explaining what we're gonna see. Okay, we're at the OTDR, and I've initiated a scan. So um, I've got a 100 meter cable here, and again, we can't presume anything. I will tell you that I've cleaned and scoped everything, all the connectors, the equipment itself. Clean, everything's nice and clean, that should be noted, uh, even though that should be your standard procedures. And you'll see here, we can see a ghost. So here's my end connection at 100 meters and we can see duplicated 100 more. If we do a time scan here, it's gonna test at 10 seconds for each wavelength. You can, see, again, there's your ghost. Now, some of you might notice I have a, a large pulse here, 50 nanoseconds. For something this short, we would be down to like five or three. I'm doing that just to make that ghost just appear a little bit more for you. Now, normally this should end at 100 and drop straight down. You can see how it just hits this ghost and then it just tails off into oblivion. It doesn't have a nice clean drop here. On the event table, you'll notice it shows the beginning and then it shows the end at like 114-ish and then 250 shows another, this is the ghost. And if you notice, the icon shows a duplicate of two reflectives. It's kind of showing you that that is a ghost. So the OTR determined that that was a ghost. And you can see that was from this initial connector being so reflective because it's open UPC, it's going down, back, down, and back. The OTR is pretty smart at saying, okay, that's really not the end of your cable even though I see that. And we can see that that's 1550 and you can see it again at 1310. You'll notice that it's about double the length of the whole real cable.
So again, showing you the effects of a ghost. Again, I would prefer just to eliminate the ghost. So what we have is this terminating connector, and this is ones that we make here. Uh, this has been a, a good machine polish UPC connection, and we've done a little voodoo here. We've smashed the connector, or the fiber behind the connector. We've put some gel on there. Basically, we're gonna now get a coupling of UPC to UPC. We'll go back to the 50s, not the, what are we reporting, 21 here negative 21 reflection on the end here. And on this one, we're showing 21-ish also. So high reflections causing the ghost. This is gonna give us UPC to UPC in the 50s. And then when the extra light hits here where the shatter and the gels are, it's going to disperse and basically send the light off in every direction except for backwards. You should see, hopefully, that this ghost will disappear and we'll just get our, our trace that we want to see without the ghosting event. So, as usual, clean, clean. So I'm going to clean. This is the end of the 100 meter cable. And I'm going to add my adapter. And I'm going to clean, of course, this terminating connector. And we're gonna just show you the effect of this. So basically, this is gonna bring that tsunami, like I said, down to a low reflections, down to the 50s. So we're going to start another test. And voila, see what we've got? We've got, there's your 100 meters, there's my end connection, and it drops straight down because that is definitely the end of my trace. No more ghosting. Again, we've dampened remember that spike was way up here we've dampened that down so now it's not going to do a double bump back and forth and you can see it's not reporting a ghost because the ghost isn't there so you can see how effective these terminating connectors are if i go to real time and you can actually see this happen live so the connector's out there's my go there's my end connection there's my ghost if i add the connector look in real time ghost is gone we've dampened it down so you can see very effective so if we want to dampen down reflections from open connections we can just put a you know five or six dollar terminating connector on the end and solve our ghosting issues hopefully this is enlightening and uh, useful and again, this was a direct result of a technical call that I had just received. So I think once we get this thing edited, I'll actually send it to that customer and uh, have them a visual of what I explained to him on the telephone. Thank you again, and wait for the second one, the follow-up to this one. Check out our channel and hit the subscribe button for new videos.